Hi, welcome to Cutting the Caboose. It's another gadget edition. And I have a thing. I have a thing in a package. What can it be? Stay tuned and let's find out. Okay, so a thing has come addressed to me from Hong Kong, from Chai Wan. Let's see what's in, I think I know what this is. Let's find out. I really need to put a new blade in this knife. Because honestly, it's kind of like opening it with a rusty spoon. Rusty spoon. Mm. It is what I thought it was. It's my new witty clock. Ah, oh, it's the Betty Glow from Witty. So this is, I hope, like the best clock in the world. Um, wake up light, sad light, Bluetooth radio um, clock. It's magic. This clock does magic things. I had, um, so this is kind of like a successor to the Witty Betty which I backed on Kickstarter and I helped um, bug check. So this is this year's new model. And let's let's see what's in the box. Throw that over there. That over there. And let's pop it open. The, um, you have like um, a white light and uh, like a, an LED sort of disco light going on. D-I-S-C-O. Now can I open it? That's the question. I need to make sure this is nice and high so it stays on camera. Should use a GoPro for this really, but I don't have one with me. So we have a thank you for choosing, etc. You're very welcome. Witty are lovely guys, by the way. They're so responsive to um, emails and supports. And it's basically a quick start guide and with some useful information on the back there. Then we have the clock, I believe, is in here. So I'm going to put the box down and just pop this out. Hopefully without breaking a nail, which would make me sad. Out, out, damn spot. It's proving a little challenging. So first I will open this box, which I think is the power supply. Snicked. I'm like Wolverine. Yes, power supply. So let's pop this open here. And an antenna cable, which is on the floor. Antenna cable, power supply. Pre-fitted with a UK three pin plug. Ta-da! Pop that there, put the little bag there, and let's try again with the clock, shall we? It's quite small, it's much smaller than the, the Betty, the previous clock. Oh, it's so nice! It's so nice! Oh, look at that! This is so teeny! So that's that. You've got USB ports on the back for charging your phone and what have you. Um, auxiliary in and FM antenna. Not quite sure how you would use two together. Why would you want to? Power supply and then the USB in port. That's for updating the firmware. Same as the one. It's so tiny! And on the top we have buttons. A button called Smart. Now, I don't know what that's for. With the old clock, it had um, like Wemo support and Ambilight support, so you could use the buttons to control like Wemo and, and um, uh, if this, then that, ITTT functions of your clock. This doesn't have that. I didn't think it had that, but it does have a Smart button. Don't know what that is. So I guess we should go and plug it in and see what it's like. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so, oh, it's all lighting up. So I guess now what we have to do is um, get the app. I'm actually using my phone. One of the cool things about the GH5. Come on. One of the cool things about the GH5 is I can preview myself. Here, I can't actually see what I'm filming now. Um, and that allows me to like focus and adjust, you know, light settings. So this is now saying Bluetooth and things. So I'm going to launch the app. I think it's the same one. Ah, and there it is. It's now set the time. You now know what time it is here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but the time is lighting up. And let's make the lights come on. Yay, white lights. White lights off. Blue light. Ah, oh, how cool is that? Green lights. Play some music. Give me some tunes. No tunes. Why are there no tunes? There's the tunes. This is really good. Just gonna pause that for a moment. Think about it dead now. You are the last dragon. Oh, I think I'm connected. It's just gone blue. I think that means good things are happening. No. I don't understand why it's not playing. This is mysterious. Let's see what's going on here. May have to may have to edit a little bit here. And I figure out what the deuce is going on. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Why won't you play for me? So we got radio, but it's not playing on Bluetooth. Damn you! Ah ha ha! Top tip, like I forgot about this, it's got two Bluetooth connections. There's a data connection which is just for controlling the little, the little box and then you have a connection for playing music so you got you need to connect that too. But now, ta-da! Disco time! Quite loud disco time. A bit of Tom Jones and a bit of Prince there. There's something a bit more... Um, how good is that? It's got a little, um, it's quite bassy. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to go and set it up and um, see what it looks like. How cool is that? Right then, see you in a sec. Hello. So I'm going to switch over, well, I have switched over to my um, handheld camera, so the sound won't be as good and there's a fan overhead, which I'll turn off because it'll make it noisy and I shall show you the old clock and then we can compare the two. Okay, so that is the, that's last year's model, that's the, um, the Beddy, which I really like to be honest. Um, that's actually a prototype Beddy, that's not the production model, I had one early for testing and I've still got it. <laughs> I really like it and I find it's kind of cool because it's like quite an unusual one being a prototype. So I shall now switch over to the new new one. Let's see how it looks. One thing I'm going to miss I think is the um, with the old one you can pop your phone in the top like that which is pretty cool actually but it does make it a bit bigger. So let's swap it over and see what we have. Okay, there it is, all set up. That took like no time, very, very fast. So let's see what it's like in action sitting on the top there. So I'm going to fire up the app here. I don't know why I say here. That is not what I usually say. So here's the app. And let's get the clock and the app in the screen together. Let's see if that plays. Hooray!
Hey Betty, this would be really cool. When you hold the button down, if you've got a touch, um, if you're on iPhone, adding pressure should take you to the settings. But okay, we can fix that next time. <laughs> Let's put it into music mode for moods. There we go. That's actually quite loud. And sounds. I gotta say, this sounds a lot better than the old one. I think it's got a little punchy bass speaker in the background. That is really good. White light, mood light, music light, rainbow lights. Ah, oh, that's so nice. That's just giving me a seizure, but I love it. So that sounds pretty good, actually. And the time is nice and clear. And we have, um, let's see what else we have going on here. We can set the alarm. Let's make it for 5.15 a.m. Ready to go to the gym. And we'll make that on every Monday. No, hot, 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 hot. Okay. Monday to, no, I know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's every weekday we have the alarm set. I'm going to make the sound. Let's see, what should we make the sound? Let's make it, um, oh, like Apple Music. Let's put some Apple Music stuff on here. Let's make it a workout mix. That'll wake me up in the morning. And then we'll turn the wake up light on. And then we'll have some weather information. No, we don't have weather information. The traffic information would be cool. Let's save that. Yay! Alarm is set. Okay. What else can we do? Let's see, that's... We've already been here. That's just the light control. Let's see about general settings. Long general settings. Wake up light. Ah, 30 minutes. Yes, more time. So let's set that to come on. Turn off light with alarm. No, let's leave the alarm on. I to turn off the alarm after 15 minutes. This is this is great. So if the alarm will come on, the white the white light will come on. All the cool stuff will happen. Traffic settings. Oh, it's already put the gym in, it remembered. That's good, so I can see if the traffic is bad. And we're done. I'll make it 24 hour, because I prefer 24 hour, or military time, as Americans call it, inexplicably. Location for weather is here, and we're done. Well, right then. Right, well. I'm going to go back in there now. So that's that's the new clock. I'm going to switch back to the other camera and sign off. See you in a moment. Well then, that is the new Witty Glow. Betty Glow. I can't remember. Witty Glow or Betty Glow? You know, let's look at the box. The box will know. It's the Betty Glow. It's a Witty Betty Glow. So it's still a Betty, as in goes by the side of your bed. And it's the Betty Glow. I really like that. It's like, that is probably the best clock, apart from maybe... Oh, I'm torn. I mean, I really like that clock. Here it is. The lights are much brighter. The white light being in the front is much better for daylight. And I like the fact you got more control. But I also kind of like the smart functions. It was handy. I could wake up and turn the lights on downstairs. Everything I have is like smart home. So that's quite nice. I could just, you know, have the lights on before I go down, if I need to go to the bathroom or something in the middle of the night without having to, um, you know, fumble around and stuff. And it's no big deal. But that was quite a nice feature. So will I switch to this over the beddy? I don't know. I don't know. I like the brighter light. I really like the brighter light and it sounds better. And I like the fact that it's nice and compact. But I think I'm going to miss having a little place to keep my phone on top. And I think I'm going to miss the smart functions. And if I'm honest, I use a Bose sound link in the bedroom anyway for playing music. So I never really use this for music. So I think that's a better 
It's, it's got a better side light, which is, a, which is a big deal. The other one doesn't really wake you. It's not very bright. That looks like it's quite bright and it sounds better. But I don't think, uh, I think for me, the functions are going to be more useful with my Betty. But I think the Betty Glow is going to be more useful for more people because you'll have, most people don't have a Bose speaker and they don't have um, smart lights and stuff yet. So um, yeah, I love that. That's brilliant. That's definitely, I think I may, I may just have to use both, I think. Ah! So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. That is the Betty Glow. Possibly the best clock in the world or maybe the second best clock in the world. I don't know, but it's a really cool smart clock. And it's very clever and does cool things. Kind of like those Philips ones. Well, I got a Philips one as well. Philips one, satellite. Um, the Philips one looks a little brighter, but that is really bright. So um, we shall see. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, unlike, subscribe, troll, etc. below. And I will see you all next time, which will be soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.